Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here with Deontay Wilder, fresh off his win in his hometown in Alabama over Eric Molina. Deontay, you have a, a week apart now from your fights. Uh, what did you make of the performance and were you happy with it? What I made of the performance is um, what I told people about my, my, uh, my contender. Uh, he was uh, our opponent, I would say, that he was, he was, he was coming to fight, you know. Forget, you know, when, it, when they're dealing with a heavyweight title fight, I tell people, you have to throw away his record. You have to throw away the opponents that he's fought. At the end of the day, that don't mean nothing when you finna get ready to fight for a world title. And it don't mean nothing because it's the thing about it. When you, when you have something that precious down on the line, now you're looking at, I can change my life forever. I can live my life like I want to live it. I can support my family the way I want to support it. So it's almost like fighting out of poverty, you know. And when you get that opportunity, you're gonna you, you're gonna take advantage to the full potential, which that's how fighters are supposed to look at it. Instead of just, oh, I'm gonna just get this more money than I ever had. You know, you're looking at the bigger picture because you make more money once you get the title than just fighting for the title. And um, and that's what I was telling people about Molina. I seen it in his eyes as a fighter. I seen it in his eyes. I didn't see I didn't see fear of me. I seen nervousness. You know, because of the environment he was in, a full pack arena full of my people. You know, but I seen that a guy was just gonna come to fight. You know, just kind of try to make his life better. He wanted to make history to be the first American uh, Mexican to do it as well too, to fight out of poverty. You know, he said he's been down. He tell about his story about his life, how he's been down, and you know, this is his big opportunity, his big chance, and and that's what he meant. He took advantage. So, so the fight went like I expected it to go. You know. Uh, a tough fight. Um, he even a lot of people tell he fought different than he fought any other fight because this is what they say. It's, 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 it's hard. To, it's easy to get a title, but it's hard to keep it because everybody want what you have. So, what could have? Just imagine if that was a regular fight for me and him. That first knockout, that first knockdown I gave him, he probably would have been done. That would have been it. But due to the fact this is a heavyweight title fight. I gotta keep getting up. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. So you know, I you know, my, so that made me you know stay calm and do what I had. To, I, it was a patient fight. I wanted to I don't fight. He was a counter puncher. We knew that, so I didn't want to get I didn't want to get too excited for the crowd because being at home, that's one of the, the perks that have you like you can get too excited. And um, once you get too excited, then's when you start messing up and uh, making mistakes and and then your opponent as a, your opponent start executing the mistakes and. And sometimes it can be an ugly fight, you know. And um, but it, it was a great crowd, uh, man, uh, electrifying crowd, and it was it was wonderful. And um, and the fight went as as, as we had it, the plan, and um, and it was it was awesome for the state of Alabama to have the first title defense in any in division in, in, in history. So that was history made that night. Uh, Overpacked crowd, still had thousands and thousands of people still trying to get in, but could you know that just let me know to uh, far as a a bigger venue and for that which we're looking into and to have another one so for you is it harder to have a fight in your hometown is it more pressure than having a fight say here in vegas or anywhere else i don't have no pressure nowhere i go yeah. you know my my, so my it's not it's not more stressful it's not much. you know you know only thing i think at home that 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 probably is the if if you want to add stress on anything is is you having people that know you personally, more people know you personally that's able to get in contact with you and, 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 and bug you all the time. I bet you had people coming out of the woodwork, huh? Well, you know, yeah, you had that too. That's part of it. <laughs> Let me get some free tickets, Deontay. Come on. Yeah, but, you know, you got family, you have, you know, friends that could be able to make it that couldn't probably couldn't make it to a, a, a Vegas show or something or couldn't fly out. But right since it's right there in the hometown, you know, they're, they're in reach and... You know, which you have to turn your phone on sometimes, but my, my mind state of, state of being is so strong. Like, I got, my mind is so strong in my head. I'm very um, um, strong when it comes mentally. And, um, you know, sometimes I, I know how to, like, focus things out when I, when I have to, you know. And so that's why I say there's no pressure on me when I, whether I'm at home or whether I'm in Vegas, whether I'm in, you know, L.A., no matter, no matter where I am, I adapt to the situation and what it is. And, and I, I know I have what the task that lies at hand. I know I gotta I gotta handle business because if I don't handle business, all this is gonna disappear. This is, ain't nobody gonna want to be around. You know, <laughs> this is part of our success. Bring people, you know, whether they fake or real, it, it brings them. You know, so but it's sad that when you lose, that's when you find out who really with you and who was all who was against you all along. 
So, but that's that's another thing. That's why I have a small circuit as well too. That way, I ain't my expectation on if I if I somehow come at the short end of the stick, you know, it's my people's gonna be around me. My circle's small, so I ain't worried about that. So I ain't worried about being disappointed by nobody, you know. So, uh, but but it's, it's no pressure at all. I enjoy it actually. You know, looking at uh, the next few fights you want to have, what have you told your management in terms of what fight you want to be put in next? Well, we look we're looking to go again in September. We can go again in September for sure. I want to, you know, like I told people, you know, once I become champion, I want to be an active champion, and I want to keep going. So we're looking for another guy in the, in the top ten, you know. So it's a lot of guys that I want to, you know, that been ramping their mouth. Of course, they want the opportunity. They probably know they ain't got no damn way in hell they're gonna beat me. But you know, sometimes you get to the point where you just want to pull some cards to just to shut some out. You know, it's come to the point where you you know you can beat them. And beating them, you know, it's probably won't, only just to do it. I, I beat them, not the world has seen it or whatever, and you just move on. But, you know, I'm always, Deontay Wilder is always ready. You know, I'm one of those fighters that if I said I really mean it, and this is what I really do, you'll never hear me say I'm running 10 miles because I, I hate running. Even though I had to do I, I hate running, so you'll never hear I'm running 10 miles. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing crazy stuff that I'm not really doing. Whatever I say, that's what I do. I train all the time. I'm in the gym all the time. That's what I. That's what I'm doing. You know, um, I, I love this. This is my job, and uh, I really enjoy being able to perform when it's time to perform and have those dates. I enjoy boxing, and everything that comes with with boxing, I enjoy it all. Have you had a specific opponent named for you yet? Yeah, it's, yet. It's, it's, it's too early, um, um, but we'll see. I'm, uh, you know, I'm looking for what somebody. When do you, when do you feel that? It'll all that be finalized for you, right? and like in the next two weeks, three weeks. I, it could be possibly, yeah. possibly. You know, taking one fight. Again, you got this fight going on right now, and uh, when they get this out of the way, we'll we'll see what happens. But uh, but definitely, you can look forward to me getting back in the ring in September. That's for sure. You know, so uh, whoever it is, you know, that's that's one of my success things to me. I'm never out of shape, so I can be, I can do that. I don't need months and months and months ahead of the time of training. When I have a training camp, we go straight from day one sparring partners. I don't believe in having a camp, then getting in shape, and a couple of weeks to get in shape in my camp, and then get my sparring partners, now I'm ready and do all that. Day one, we, we sending sparring day one, time to camp, you know? That's how we're, and we, you know, we go 12 rounds, 12 rounds, we feel that we need at that time, you know? And, and, we, and for me, with my guys, I substitute them, they only, they only two rounds per fighter. Cause we want them fresh each and every time they so they super fresh by the next time they get in there for me and uh and i still you know it's a secret about me nobody really knows it's, it's nothing got to, nothing to do with my my feet ability uh, uh my power a lot of people think it's all about power but it, it, it ain't that it's, it's you know but um one day somebody may f figure it out maybe maybe not but right now we're loving it and uh we plan on sitting on top for a long time what'd you make of povekin's performance that he had his knockout win in his last fight I mean, it ain't really nothing to say. I mean, it was like they went in there and it was over, kind of little thing. I mean, ain't nothing really to say. I don't, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, you, I'm not the type of person that like to bash people or whatever. You know, he did what he did, and that was it, it was good for him. I'm all about people being successful and um and, and congratulating them on their win. You know, and 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 congratulations to him. I'm looking forward to definitely fighting him as my first man time. I got my Valentory. Now I'm looking for my first mandatory, and uh, that that'll definitely be soon. Uh, we're looking into uh, going to negotiations, maybe sometime in October or sometime. And before then, I, I'll probably I'll have another fight before then, then probably fight him at the end of the year. How do you feel you guys match up then in a potential fight? I'm stubborn all over again. You think so? Stubborn all over. I, I, I'm a, you know the jab is be the secret key. He had to come in on me, you know, different fighter brain, different styles and different different perks in the ring. And um, f for him, I think, you know, keeping him at bay, that's going to be the key, keeping him, keeping him at bay. That's, that's, that's I, don't, I don't see the guy getting in too close because he's not so much of a pressure fighter. And so and when you have those shorter guys that's not pressure fighters or whatever, you know, it, it makes it easier for the taller guys. You know, tall guys love to fight the smaller guys because we, if you have a nice jab and keep them out, you know, it's easy. It's easy. And and the thing about it, they waste so much energy trying to get in. And then when they do get in, they burn themselves out. And then the thing about it for a 
bigger fire, you want to reset yourself to get back on the outside. Now it's like, damn, I got to start back over. Here it is, and I got to start all the way back over. So now your mental state of being is starting to kick in that each and every time this happens, I got to come out. So it gets exhausting that time. That's why the bigger fighters love fighting the small, whether it, even, even if he was a pressure puncher, it'll, be, it'll benefit me now because I don't have to. I don't have to put so much forth of an as far as punches to him. I just stick it out there and let him run into it. So, you know, the big guys is running the division, and, and that's what it is now, you know. And uh, like I said, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, do you think that your next fight, though, uh, the optional that you'll take in September, will that be also in Birmingham? Or not Birmingham, but in Alabama somewhere? Or maybe nah, I don't, somewhere nah, it'll be somewhere else. You know, we want to uh, – I, I love Alabama. Um, we made history um, last week. and um, But we, we're looking forward to – to traveling all over, I'm getting uh, highly requested all over. So, any, any indication uh, where you're going? Then? Not, not sure yet. It's, it's, LA, it, it could be Vegas. It could be, it could be New York. You know, we had Barclay Sillum been wanting me to come over there for for, for a while. They so, New York. definitely. And then I want to, I want my friend that Barclay Center uh, putting my my name down in history at the Madison Square Garden or something like that. So, um, we're definitely going to keep it rotating throughout throughout the nation as far as where going. Even you know. I'm, I want to keep it second throughout Alabama as well too, make that because I told those people I, I'm their professional sport now, and um, and when, once we got the fight, the the boxing, you know, once we got boxing out there, they responded well with a, a super packed out crowd. You know, they had a couple of thousand, they couldn't even still get in. You know, and I felt sorry for the people that traveled far, but um, the next one would, would, would be great for them as well with a bigger venue and and, and doing and that's what it's all about. You know, I'm not just gonna be home based. I want to travel all over. I want to get the message all over. And uh, that's what I think of true traveling about, you know, sometimes getting out of the comfort zone just at home where you're familiar with. It's just like, it's just like you, you, playing, you playing basketball at home all the time. You're familiar with the goal. You're familiar where, where everything out of bounds. You're familiar where every little mark is. You, you know, even, you, you know where everything is. It can be like a, a, a it can be a, a, a dirt mark on the floor and it's permanent. You're going to know where it is. So I want to get in an environment where well, I'm not familiar with things. Give me a challenge. That's why I don't like looking at film on fighters, because I like a challenge when I get in the ring. I like to be able to adapt to them and see what's next. I like to keep my mind thinking, see, see, see how I go. That's, that's just me. You know, I let my, my team, of course, let them be the ears and eyes. That's their job to be, and let them study film and break it down, which I got a great team. They break people down to a T. They break them down just like they're supposed to do. Whether I get in there and execute what, what they told me or not, that's up to me in the end, but they break it down, and, and I, man. There's no better job to have than what I'm doing.